Hey everybody, welcome back to another Krita tutorial. Today we're going to be going over comic balloons in Krita. So to bring that up, you want to go to your settings, your dockers, and your vector library. So mine, I think this is default for me because I've played with it before. It shows up with the pepper and carrot speech bubbles. But if you go to the Krita brush preset, you can see some other stuff that are not comic uh, bubbles. And then they have word balloons, which are you know, comic bubbles. So, they have two categories for that. I'm going to use the pepper and carrot speech bubbles just because we have more variety. And I'll go over the word balloons a little later. So, under the pepper and carrot speech bubbles, if you want to use one of them, just pick whatever, just click and drag into your scene or your file. So, if you're familiar with the vector tools, you can see that it looks like two shapes have been grouped together. If you want to go ahead and create a black outline for this or do some other um, edits to this, you're going to have to right click and ungroup them. You might have to do this a few times. As you can see, I've ungrouped them. I did it twice. Whoops. There we go. And now they're separate vector shapes. And if you look over here on your layers, you can see that this is a vector layer now, not a paint layer. So this was automatically created when I dropped this in here. So now that they're separate, what you can also do is if you don't like the tail here, you can switch it with other ones that are here. Right, you can just drag and drop those. It's a little laggy, sorry. And you can kind of switch it out which is nice. And if you have a background that you're using for your comic or whatever it is you're using and it's white or a light color and it's not showing up um, or the word bubble isn't showing up, we can actually go to the tool options here and give it an outline. So by default it's it has none. You want to click on the solid color here. And here we can just go and hit black and you can tell there's a little bit of an outline, but it's pretty thin. So we're going to up this thickness. That 25 is good. And then we want to change this too. So same thing. Let's put 25. Let's type it in. Now obviously they're separate shapes, so the line or the outline is going to overlap. So what we can do here. we can do logical operations and unite them. And when we do that, we create a whole sh new shape with a, a thicker outline, just because it's combining the whole thing, which we can reduce. We'll give that a 10. That's good. And now you have one single word balloon with an outline, so it can show up. And it's not going to have an overlapping black line here because the two separate shapes are, under, are uh, overlapping each other. And that's how you can use those word art balloons that are pre-made in Krita for your own stuff. It's pretty simple, pretty easy, nothing too complex about it, and this is going to work for everything. Now, I will say that these are old. They've been with Krita for a while. Uh, I would like them to update them later on, but they still work pretty well. So, with everything you do, you're going to have to ungroup them a couple times just to get it to work. I'm not entirely sure why that is, but that's been what my experience so far using them. And they can, like I said, go ahead and make the outlines for them. You can even change the shapes with the vector tool. So if you like this shape, but you want to kind of, whoops, make this a little higher. I have the wrong, there we go. Wow, Krita doesn't like me today. There we go. Actually, this might. There we go. All right, now I got it. Want that a little higher. You can go ahead and tweak that a little bit. So you can go ahead and edit the shapes as well. And this will not affect the original speech bubble in the vector library either. As you can see, it's the same shape here. I just went and just made, uh, altered this one, but the original library version is still fine. If these icons are a little small for you, you can click on this icon up here and you can make the icons bigger. You can kind of see all the different 
bubbles, you have some clouds, you have a series of speech bubbles connecting, you have more uh, impactful speech bubbles, all sorts of stuff. And some of these have outlines, it looks like. Maybe not. Interesting. It looks like it has an outline in the thumbnail, but it doesn't actually have one. So after dragging this in and seeing that there is an outline, make sure you go and right click and ungroup it, and then you can start giving it an outline and tweaking that a little. You can also change the fill color if you'd like. So if you don't want this to be white for whatever reason, we'll just give it, let's see, we'll just give it a light purple. You know, because purple is my color. There you go. It's just like using any other vector shape that you create from scratch. You just have to ungroup it all, like I said. Now the word balloons that are default from Krita are a little more fancy. They have um, like a shadow, they have an outline here, but it, as you can see by clicking on it, it's the same situation. You have to ungroup everything if you want to change it. So here we have a separate shape for the white. We have another shape for the shadow or the outline, I guess, and then a separate shape for the dark shadow. And here, it's the same thing. So it's just kind of layered up. So that can help if you'd like something a little bit more um, that pops out a little more already. So you can just go ahead and change the shape. And like, let's say you want this more square, you can just go ahead and change the whole thing. There. See, not so bad. And then you can change the color and everything else and tool options like you would have any, any other vector shape. And again, it's still a vector, uh, operation so it's on the vector layer only if you want this to be a paint layer you have to convert it to paint layer but if you do that you're not going to be able to edit the shape with the curves and everything else it's just going to be a bunch of lines on the canvas so just keep that in mind if you convert it to a paint layer you won't be able to go ahead and change the outline or the fill color or anything like that it'll all be flat Hope this video was helpful. I figured I'd make a separate video of just the comic bubbles or balloons, whatever you want to call them, because a lot of people are trying to use Krita for comics now as well, and it deserves its own video. So yeah, if you like this video or it helped you out, or you have questions, like leave them in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.